We're at LSP Whitewater in Whitewater, Wisconsin, a 250 megawatt cogen power plant. This plant supplies uh, power to the grid here in Wisconsin. We also supply steam to the University of Wisconsin Whitewater and heating water to the greenhouse next door. To generate electricity, we have to use a lot of water. And what's called a cooling tower cools down the steam and condenses it back into the cycle so it can be used again. We need to discharge it at some point. Our effluent goes to Whitewater Creek, which flows into the Rock River. Phosphorus historically has been added to a plant like this to reduce the corrosion in our piping systems and our cooling systems. There's become increasing recognition that phosphorus was affecting the water quality and therefore the ecology. One of the new requirements with the state of Wisconsin was to mitigate the phosphorus in our discharge. Presented us with their Ecofilm non-phosphorus program. The Ecofilm program is a new patented program for non-P corrosion inhibition. This new technology is revolutionary in a sense that it doesn't contain any zinc or any other type of traditional chemistries to mitigate corrosion. It actually lays down a protective film over the mild steel to reduce the corrosion. For Whitewater, the change was really, really easy. Basically, we just set up right into the existing piping that we use for the phosphorus. All we really had to do was stop feeding the other phosphate-based product. We brought in a tote, a pumping system. Usually that's very capital and engineering intensive and changes our process. The benefit of using this alternative chemical, we essentially have not changed anything in our day-to-day -day operations. The Ready, Set, Go panel is the panel that monitors the ecofilm. It allows us to remotely see what's going on. I could review the data anytime I need to without having to physically come to the site. We ended up reducing our phosphorus discharge by 175 pounds a year, and we've also maintained our historical corrosion rates. We project that we'll actually be able to meet the 2026 effluent limit as soon as 2020. That's very critical for the ecology that we get a start in cleaning up the rivers and streams. The plant recognizes customers and employees for environmental stewardship. The plant here has received what we call our return on the environment award for this particular project. And secondly, they received the NACE Environmental Project of the Year Award. Rob has been the on-site vendor rep since the plant was commissioned. I come out to the site every other week. I review our Insight platform, which is where all the data is entered, check for anomalies, and talk with plant personnel to see if there's anything that they need me to take a look at while I'm here. He knows the history of the plant. He's able to understand what I need from a plant-specific standpoint and also a regulatory standpoint. In order to maintain a long-term relationship, you have to continually reinvent yourself and look for ways to show value to the customer so that they want to continue to do business with you. Having history with how your facility operates and being able to apply the knowledge and experience to meet your goals and needs is invaluable.